Alright, so what's going on everyone? Swan here, and today we're going to be doing a q and I haven't done one of these in a while, so I figured why not do one today. And I asked you all to use the hashtag AskSquan on Twitter, and I got a bunch of questions, and I picked out a few, and we're going to answer them today. Here we go with the first question. We actually have a sports-related question, which is baseball or basketball? And 100% baseball. You know, I've played uh, both of them for a long time, but definitely baseball is my... It's, it's my favorite sport. Alright, so the next one is, if you could choose one place in the world to live, where would it be? Now, I've thought about this question many times, you know, what I would like to do is have a place, like if I was, if I had the money, this is what I would do. I would have a place in LA, or just actually anywhere really in California, it doesn't have to be LA. LA, just a lot of things are around LA, but a place in California, and then a place back here in Minnesota, because Minnesota is the best. Like, we have the best summers. I know a lot of people say, oh, we have the best summers. No, we have the best summers. I truly think Minnesota has the best summers because it's just like, I don't know, it's awesome. But, you know, that's what I would do. I'd have a place in Cali and a place here. And also maybe a place in Alaska if I really wanted to go big with the, the places to live because Alaska is an awesome place too. All right, so moving on, we got, would you ever be down to do a fan meetup somewhere in Minnesota? You know, I thought about this recently because I have a lot of people tweeting at me asking me to do it because I apparently I have quite a few Minnesotan fans and you know if I were to do it anywhere I would probably do it in Mall of America because it's just such a widely known place and it's it's really popular and it'd be really fun to just go to the mall and meet a bunch of people so if I were to do one in the future it'd probably be at Mall of America. Alright so now we have a car question. This is which car would you rather buy a Camaro or a Mustang? Alright if I had to choose between the two it'd be a Camaro, 100%. I'd want to get like the Z01 or Z28, one of just the really powerful ones. But uh, if I were to get another option of a muscle car, it'd definitely be a Challenger. You know, I want the cha I want a Challenger so bad and I'm actually, I am might be getting one soon, but we'll see about it. All right, so next question is, what is your favorite movie to come out this year? That should answer your question. All right, so now we actually have a Call of Duty related question. What kind of zombies videos are you planning on making on BO3? Uh, definitely, like, just challenge videos are some of them, like, um, I guess, first room challenge, pistol only challenge, knife only challenge, I'm gonna do stuff like that. I'm gonna do maybe maybe trolling videos, play online, and just like, I don't know, mess with people. Like you could do on Black Ops 2 really easily with the trample steams and everything. And then also, I guess, just high round type stuff, you know, cut it into bits and pieces because it's probably gonna be long. I don't know, I just really enjoy zombies. All right, so now we have a question asking, what sports did slash do you play? All right, so I'll do do right now. So right now I only play, um, I only play basketball, but next summer I'm planning on playing baseball again, but not high school baseball. Uh, I'm gonna play in just kind of like a more recreational league. It's like Babe Ruth. I don't know if you have Babe Ruth where you live. It's just kind of more just for fun rather than being super competitive. And we're gonna like try and make a team with all my friends, like Danny, Tyler, Max, and all them. And it's gonna be it's gonna be so fun. Like I haven't played baseball since freshman year, and it's gonna be really nice getting back into the swing of things. But I guess. Sports that I did play, like I said, baseball, still play basketball, and then I never played football, never played hockey, never played soccer. Uh, I, I don't know if you consider golf a sport. I never played it competitively though, so uh, I don't know. I, I'll just say I do play golf, which is a sport, so yeah. Golf, baseball, basketball. So we have Nike or Adidas. Nike all the way, come on. Look, uh, hold on, let me see if I can get this. Those are my shorts, Nike shorts, come on. I think he's the best. If you could join one team to play for in the MLB, what team would it be? 100% the Minnesota Twins. You know, we're not the best. I'm not gonna lie, we're not an amazing team, but uh, Minnesota has always been my team that I've rooted for because it's my home state and everything. And yeah, I think it'd just be awesome. What was the first thing you thought when that ball came straight for your face? All right, if you don't know what he's talking about, it's the video that I uploaded a couple days ago or a few days ago. It was called I Almost Died, and I really did almost die. Um, I threw a, we were doing the home run derby that I was talking about. I actually uploaded the derby the next day, but I pitched it to Danny, and he just unleashes on it, and it comes straight from my face, and you know those, like those L screens? Um, they have poles just to hold the net up, 
and it hit this pole that was like this thick. It was maybe not even. It was really small. Nailed it, and it was coming right from my face. Like I t started to turn away too, and it probably would have hit me like right here. And if it would have hit high enough, like on the temple, I would have died 100%. Like if it hit me right there, I would have died. But you know, I don't think. I think it was maybe a little too low, but I think it still would have hit like my jaw, which would have been horrible. Like just cracked my jaw and everything. But oh man, I was really, I was really lucky. And I guess my thoughts when it was coming out my face, it was like. I, I don't even know. I was just like, I, I'm screwed. Actually, I don't think I was really thinking too much when it came out of face. I was just trying to get out of the way. All right, so next question. What is your goal on YouTube for 2016? Yep, uh, 1 million subscribers is the goal for 2016. So the next question is, what is your dream car? And I'm gonna do a dream car that like is attainable, I guess. Um, I would say the, I think I've said this before in a video, I'm sure I have, but the Challenger Hellcat, SRT Hellcat, um, it's just such a beast and I think it'd be so fun to drive and everything and it's only actually 60 grand for 707 horsepower. It's, it's really cheap for like what it is, but I guess that's my uh, dream car for right now. All right, so the next question, why did people used to say you look like Wolverine? This is why, this picture right here, it looks, it's really weird how similar it looks. My hair used to like swoop up on both sides and I don't know, I, I kind of did look like Wolverine, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so another baseball question. Why did you stop playing baseball? I think I might have answered this in another video, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's because the, the sport just got too political for me. You know, the high school baseball, it was like, it's like, it's hard to explain. They picked favorites too easily. Like I played on the B team freshman year when I know I should have been on the A team. It was really dumb, but I, that's not me being cocky either. That's just me knowing that I should have been on the A team. I got like MVP of the B team and everything, but it, it's just, it was kind of dumb and I just, I was done after that. All right, this one's gonna take some thinking for me. One member from the phase house to survive an apocalypse with. Hmm. I honestly think I'd have to go with Apex. Apex is really smart. I feel like he would just know what to do, but I, I don't know, what kind of apocalypse are we really thinking? Like, I guess, anyway, I would choose Apex, because he's just a smart guy and it'd be fun. If there is an apocalypse, I hope it's a zombie apocalypse. It'd be really fun. Another baseball question. What is your favorite baseball player? Torrey Hunter. Torrey Hunter's always been really my favorite. I, I don't know, he's been, yeah, he's been my favorite basically the whole time I've been watching baseball. I actually got to meet him one time and he signed one of my shirts. I don't know where it is, but, um, he, I don't know, he was such a nice guy. He went to like a local uh, sports store in Minnesota and he was doing like this meet and greet type thing where you got to take a picture, have him sign stuff, and it was super fun. And I haven't met him since, I don't think, but it was, I don't know, it was a really cool experience. Not everyone really gets to say that they've met their favorite sports player. All right, so now we have actually a school related question. What's the hardest class you've ever taken in high school? Hands down, AP Calculus. I took that sophomore year and that was hell for me. I, I guess I probably should have paid attention more. You know, I just talked with my friends a lot of the time, but even when I did try and pay attention, like right at the beginning of certain units, I couldn't understand any of it. Like it was just, it was such a hard class. Some people say it's super easy. Some people say it's like a super easy class and they understand it perfectly. But for me, I did not understand it at all. You know what, I'm gonna be honest. I got a one on the AP exam. The AP Calculus exam, I got a one. And then I didn't go to BC next year. Uh, I took, it, it was AP Calculus AB. And they had, then they have BC after that. I didn't take BC, I took AP Stats the um, junior year. And that was really easy, that was a really easy class. But uh, Calculus, no. How many dingers have you hit today? I don't know, like 48? And the final question, will you vote for Kanye in 2020? Hell yeah, I'm voting for Kanye, woo! I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven When I woke, I smit that on a necklace I told God I'll be back in a second Man, it's so hard not to act reckless To whom much is given, much is tested Get arrested, guess until he get the message